Well, looks like I'm going 12 and 2 this week. Darn it. I really thought Buffalo was going to win. They've been doing great lately. Well, I know that we're essentially one third of the way through the season right now, but I think it's pretty safe to guess that the road to the Super Bowl, at least in the AFC, is going to be through Baltimore. As for the NFC, right now it's looking like it's Arizona, but we'll uh, have to see about that. So let's get to my low, my high, my act of kindness. You know, I feel bad for Buffalo right now. That's going to be my low. My, my low is the fact that Buffalo that the Buffalo Bills lost. I mean, I should have realized as long as the Titans still have Derrick Henry, there's going to be hope for them. And it's not like they lost by a lot. The final score was 34-31. to 31. So, that's not so bad, I guess. Um, let's see, what was my high? Actually, another part of my low is the fact that it was like, it's, it's finally starting to get cold. Like, consistently cold. Like, yesterday was, like, the first real day where, like, I could only stand to be outside with what I was wearing for, like, a few minutes. And, like, I gotta get back inside now. And immediately find, like, a heater to stand by for hours and hours and hours. Seriously, it got, like, really windy. And the fact that, well, it did kind of rain a little bit, actually. So, yeah, it was a little damp, too. That's not cool. We don't like that. Not this time of year. There was also a rumor going around that, like, there was also snow in horse heads. I'm like, no. That's got to be a hoax. There's no way there's going to be snow right now. Even if by some freak nature accident type scenario, we do get snow, it's going to be like tiny fragments of it, and it's not remotely going to stick to the ground. But I guess, I'm, I mean, it's not that I hate snow per se, but I don't want to see it now. Like, I do like snow, I do. And there are times when snow is legitimately beautiful to look at. But I live in an area of the country where snow is horrible. Like, it's not that far up north, but, you know, it still gets cold and slippery outside. And, you know, if you fall onto the ground in the snow, your clothes get wet, probably. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. But, what can I say? We're in upstate New York. And again, I'm over-exaggerating. It's, it's not going to get to that point yet. We still have, like, yeah, at least a month before we can even hope to think about anything like that. Oh, I say that now, but then I remember back when I was a senior in college, or junior in college, it actually snowed that day. On Halloween, actually. Yeah, it was actually Halloween, and it snowed. Horrifically, by the way. So, not fun. But, it was what it was. Luckily, though, I'm prepared. That's why my high is the fact that um, I have a uh, mac and cheese prepared for, you know, these coming days. It's already made and ready to go. I just got to heat up and eat it. So you guys are probably like, well, Nick, it's early in the morning. You know, why'd you get up so early and make it? Well, first of all, full disclosure, mac and cheese takes like almost two hours for me to make. Then again, I do make quite a lot of it. It's supposed to last, you know, a couple of days. Also, didn't anyone tell you? Leftover mac and cheese is always better. But I didn't have any yet, so I have a lot of leftovers. You get it? So, yeah. I mean, good. Although, I guess it do need sort of a meat dish to go with it. You know, meat and mac and cheese, you know what I mean? And I actually do have a couple of jars of pickles I could use that I could, that I could you know, eat with. I sort of assay to go through that sort of richness of the mac and cheese. Plus, I also um, add some mustard and hot sauce to my cheese sauce. Yeah, it was, um, you know, just French's yellow mustard, 
Y'all know what that is. And um, actually, I combined uh, two different kinds of hot sauce in my in my mac and cheese. It was uh, Frank's and Sriracha. Yeah. I mean, a couple points there. I mean, I'll say New York, Frank's is great. And Sriracha, I mean, I'll never, I mean, I've talked about this before, but there was a time when Sriracha just took over the world. It was really that good. In fact, it's the hot sauce that got me into liking hot sauce stuff. So, you know, I mean, I don't really have Sriracha so much anymore. Honestly, I use it, again, I use it more for an ingredient like I just did for the mac and cheese and anything else. It's still good. And what was my act of kindness again? Um, all right, my act of kindness is that I uh, I uh, helped um, my I have I helped someone uh, with a little uh, chore yesterday, so that wasn't so bad. Um, good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my goodness, I am tired. Although, I mean, one of the prices... One of the prices of making mac and cheese like I did is that it's actually really hot in my apartment right now. I'm sitting next to um one of my windows that's open, and it's, like, in the 50s out right now. It feels amazing. It's not... Like, it's not too cold, not too warm. I really could almost, like, fall back and... Go to sleep, it feels so nice. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, there's, there's more to talk about, it, don't worry. Although, one thing I do have to bring, you know what? I haven't looked up this week's hot ones guest yet, have I? Um, actually, one moment for one moment, please. Mm hmm. Here we go. All right, so who do we have as this week's hot ones guest? Ooh. C L. Um. That's. Uh, that's who it is. It's a C L. Uh. Shale Lynchel? Shay Lynchel? Or CL? Okay. Like all good ideas, we go to the internet for the answer. CL. Okay. Oh, good. I was actually kind of worried. I just literally typed in CL, and it got to the person I was looking up. And I was worried because CL is the atomic symbol for chlorine. Okay, let's see. Lei Sharon, better known by her stage name CL, is a South Korean oh, rapper and singer and songwriter, born in Seoul, South Korea. Okay. I should very life in Japan and France. Mm hmm. Let's see. Join YG Entertainment at age 15. Debut and rose to fame as a member of the girl group 2NE1 in 2009. Okay. Best selling girl groups of all time. So Rodgers made a debut as the single The Baddest Female. Okay. Her final single album, Crush. Okay. Where she was solo career and released standalone singles with, um, oh. I, uh, well, actually, it is the name of a product. So, CL's Hello Bitches album, single, and Lifted. Okay, first free, oh, first female Korean solo artist to place on the Billboard Top Hot 100. Okay, and the third Korean artist to do so overall. Okay, 
All right, so she's got some she got some pedigree to her. Very nice. Anything else? Okay. Okay. She's on that one to promote a new studio album titled Alpha. All right. That's why she's there. Okay, so nothing. Well, some raptors are also actor, actors and actresses, but it looks like this person's a straight, you know, rapper. Um, okay. All right. All right. Oh, she has been in film and TV. Let's, let's see. Um, let's see. Back in 2018, she was in mile 2022. Okay. Didn't bring her reviews. On my television, she was in the show Dave. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really all I can see about her. Okay. Um, cool. So, CL. All right. That's, that's, there's, that's who this week's Hot Ones guest is. Um, you know what? That's what I'll put, that's what I'll put. And, you know, I just came up, no kidding. Sometimes I come up with the title of these videos on the fly. Other times I come up, as you've seen in Millie's videos, and this is one of them. I'm just going to make the, that's what the title, the title of this video is going to be, I'll give you a hint. This week's Hot Ones guest has, goes by the same. Uh, it goes by the same atomic symbol. Uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work on the title, but the, the idea is there. It's there. Now I just have to, um, I have to execute it when, when the moment is right. Okay, so, hmm. Right now, just go overall thinking about, you know, these next couple of weekends. Because as we get closer and closer to Halloween, there's going to be a lot of, you know, stuff or whatever to go on, whatever. You know, I actually do have one idea what my Halloween costume is going to be. And as luck would have it, since the state of my being address, holy cow, it's going to be in a few days, is on Halloween, I know exactly what I'm going to wear, too. So, I have some planning to do. I, I definitely have some planning to do. Other things going on this weekend, the illegal tap house is having an Oktoberfest. I may actually go to that. I'm literally, I'm not going to be, I'm not lying. I haven't been inside the illegal tap house since before the pandemic. Like literally March of 2020 was the last time I was in the illegal tap house. And I was there for a diaper party. For those of you who don't know, a diaper party is sort of like the male, it is the male equivalent of a baby shower. Basically, it's a party for the father. Now, a baby shower can be for both the mother and the father. Usually, it's for the mother just because, you know, it's the mother and, you know, I believe the song goes, girls just want to have fun. But a diaper party really is more for guys and basically pretty straightforward. The number one gift at a diaper party is, of course, diapers. So, buy out of your diapers. Which... You know, I did actually. Although, I wonder. I know you're supposed to get diapers for a diaper party, but did you get other baby supplies as well that's not diapers? I'm literally just asking because I'm curious about that. 
Like, I mean, I wanted to gain diapers for this diaper party anyway, but still. I guess. I'll just have to. I'll look it up later, I suppose. So, yes. If you excuse me, I'm going to go uh, work on the title of today's video. Like, favorite, share, the subscribe button, follow me on social platforms, and YouTube. I'm very homie. This video for all of you guys watching your video. We have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, because one talk to you, we're here to land and always get back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.